Here we have a little baby plantain. This is a broadleaf plantain. There's also a narrow leaf plantain which has much longer, skinnier leaves. And I'm going to zoom out so you can see, try to get it in focus as well, how small that really is. Teeny tiny, teeny tiny compared to my foot. And so we're identifying it now because when it gets bigger we can use it for both food and medicine. So um, plantain is edible. It um, kind of like purple dead nettle tastes like raw mushrooms but it's a spinach substitute so you can um, cook it in soups or anything you'd use spinach for. You can um, make it into a tea and it's very uh, moistening and um, also medicinally it's um, really great for drawing things out of your skin. So if you get a splinter, if you get a bee sting or a hornet or wasp sting and you make what's called a spit poultice, which is chewing up the leaves and then putting it on your skin, it actually is traditionally used to pull the, the venom um, out or the irritation out. So to identify it, plantain grows in a basal rosette. So the leaves all coming out from the center and very flat to the ground. Um, they're kind of egg shaped, I would describe them as. And then on the back of the leaf, and this is especially true as it gets older, you're gonna see very prominent leaf veins. So when it's young, you can usually see three really prominent with the fourth and fifth coming in. But when it is, there we go. But then when it is older, you'll generally see five prominent leaf veins. And we think about the five human fingers, so good for humans. Um, that's not the case for every plant, but that's just one trick to remember this. Just like the white pine with the five needle bumbles, bundles and W-H-I-T-E in white. Um, you can see that the veins have these plant fibers that are sticking out even after I pinched off the leaf. Um, when this plant gets older and more mature, it'll send up a single flower spike, which is green, and it doesn't really look like a flower. It looks kind of more like a grain. Um, also, the base of the leaves tends to be kind of a pinkish, purplish as it gets older. Right now, it's kind of a whitish, greenish. So um, I'm also going to post a great recipe for plantain chips that you can make just like kale chips. They're really, really good. They taste, um, to me, very similar to those uh, olive oil seed seaweed snacks that you can get from the store. So plantain, a great friend, and food and medicine. Start to look out for it now so as it gets bigger you can harvest it and use it.